Good morning, good morning. It's been a while. I apologize for the long wait for another video. I'll be honest with you guys, I just really haven't really been motivated to be editing videos. I got a lot of footage that I have, I just really haven't put it all together. Still have the time to do some editing, mainly because of this whole COVID thing's got me really busy at my job. For the past couple of fishing trips, you know, mostly it was just going out there to do to hit the tournaments, and I really didn't put too much time into recording. And also, man, I've been doing horrible this whole season, especially for the WWBT because those are lakes. They're kicking my ass. I've never really fished those lakes before, and trying to figure them out, it's just tough for me. But right now, the bass season's over, and doing something a little bit different. I'm out here with Vinny, and we're going to. Lake Berryessa. We're gonna go ahead and try to target a uh, crappie. Maybe some trout. I got a few stuff for bass fishing. Not gonna be targeted much. We're just really gonna go out there and try to hit something different. I wanna switch it up, especially in the off season. So we're out here right now. We just hit Fruit Ridge, bait and tackle. Picked up some live minnows to see if we can catch some jumbo crappie. And I also picked up a new rod just for crappie and trout fishing. And I'm really excited to go ahead and use it today. Glad to be out here. Again, apologize for not being so active on YouTube. Hopefully this is gonna really motivate me to shoot a, little, a lot more videos now that I actually have some time to get back out and do some fishing again. Let's get this. Look at all this. Fire is just really, really put its number on it. Look at this whole place, man. That ain't right. It looks like an apocalypse, you know? It's real sad to see a lot of structure over here all burned down. A lot of abandoned cars over here all burnt up. Man, that ain't right. All right, well, while my boy's over there getting set up at the launch, gonna do an unboxing video of this new boiler. It's a Striker 200, just like the Jet Boil, but this one, it's a little bit cheaper. I got this for 68 bucks at Walmart. We're gonna go ahead and test this out. Check it out. The Jet Boil comes around $100. This one's a lot cheaper, and this one's bigger. I'm gonna test it out. I haven't really eaten, eaten. so we got a bunch of noodles. We'll cook these up. Have some breakfast out here. Just like that. All right. And I already washed this because I tested already at the house. Put some water in here. What are you doing? You're gonna eat. You're gonna eat Come on, have some noodles. There we go. I filled it up to the top because I got four noodles over here for everybody. Put all this stuff over here. Got like a stand over here for the smaller cans. I, I got the big one over here. And this one's for the bigger can. So let's go ahead and do that. Make sure it doesn't tip over, right? Oh no, that's for the propane tank. Ooh. Because this one has an attachment for propane tanks. And put it right here. I believe this one's for that right there, but I'm not gonna use it right now. I'm just gonna put this in the truck. Want one? Oh yeah, I got duck too. We're gonna put duck in here. Duck and green onions. I just bought this from Walmart. 68 bucks is a bigger one. Is that the jet boy or is that just a... It's the striker by Cap Chef. Oh yeah! Put a little duck in here. I don't know about you guys, but I love duck. Two pieces good for me right here. <laughs> Boiling up pretty soon. It's taking longer than expected because this is a lot of water in there. If I close it up. For well, my secret center, I'm gonna ask for a uh, jet boil. This is, I mean, I, I'm pretty sure it'll be faster if I didn't put that much water. This is a big one. 1.5 liters. The other jet boils is like one liter. Heck yeah. And you go like fucking 
in the afternoon, you have to hungry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You go real quick, you know? You put it on the right hole. Uh -huh. Shoot, if you do it on the boat. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, this shit takes hell long if you fill it up. I already tested it. When you put it halfway, it does in two minutes. But when it's all the full. All right, it's boiling now. That's how you do it. Hell oh, yeah, I'm gonna do that too. Yeah. I got this little low budget Daiwa Regal. I like the color on it. And I spooled it with six pound test. Really light setup. Really excited for this. I also got this this new uh, rod. It's a Daiwa Tatula 6.6 medium fast. And I got this because I, I like to uh, jerk bait fish. And the shorter rod will allow me to walk it downwards or to jerk it downwards. And the fast action will help snap the, the jerk bait a lot better to give it better action. So I don't have to work too much for it. All my other jerk bait rods were always 771. So this is gonna be a significant upgrade for me. Got it paired with a Corrado on 10 pound fluoro. I'm gonna change this out. I wanna get a Tatua reel to go ahead and um, pair it with this. I used to throw Daiwa a lot, but I was really sold on the Corrados and I've always been buying Corrados since. Right now I'm trolling a small Rapala. See if I can get a trout on the way there. It's, I know I should be using a mod, a slower rod to troll, but I don't. I didn't bring my my other rod, so. Right here. Yep. Trying to catch something. Huh? I had a hookup over there, but it came off. Yeah, around there? You got minnows too? I need some rod holders. I have rod holders, I just didn't bring them. This is my first time fishing like this. Little smallie. No skunk. No coffee for me yet. Dang's got one. All I got is a small non keeper smallmouth. Where's the crappie at? Where's the crappie at? I'm gonna find a tree or a bush that may be holding them. I think that'll be my ticket. Reality, I don't even know what I'm doing. <laughs> Using some side scattering now, see if I can find some underground bushes. Man, I don't know what the hell I'm doing. I'm trolling over here. I don't even got 
rod holders I'm just putting between my legs right here and trolling around 2.5 miles per hour on Rapalas trying to get something nada I'm gonna spend around another hour hour and a half hour and I'm probably call it quits afterwards Here you go. Huh? Ah. Finally. Huh? I threw it at that uh, ledge right there and I, dra I dragged it towards me. Woo! Look at that one! <sighs> Finally! I thought I had a snag this whole time. I got me a nice molly right here. Dang, they're all coming here now. Six pound test. Look at everybody's coming here now. Yeah, yeah. Not what was I was targeting, but that was fun. Six pound test. That crappie was my is my PB crappie. Pulled up a snag here. What is that? There. Yep. Dang, dang's on fire today. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Two pound ten. Oh, it's pulling him. Ooh. <laughs> Damn, I was ready about to go home. Ooh, another crop. That's what we came here for. That was a ticket. Just coming here later in the day. Huh? Dude, they just smack on baby bass. Yeah, I caught one over there earlier. Missed it earlier, but I want to show you. Caught my, caught my trout. Check it out. I 
again, let me show you that bait ball. And the fish right next to it, feeding upon it. That's what we're, that's what we're attacking. We didn't catch shit this morning, man. All the way till what? Till we got back over here? Dude, I gotta leave at 415, man. No, nah, man. I got, I got shit to do. I got responsibilities. I'm supposed to finish painting. <laughs> Stay in the closet. <laughs> When you bleed it out, you just cut the uh, the gills. Oh yeah, right. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, he just lost it. <laughs> Dang, look at this guy sword fighting. Check him out. <laughs> You're just jigging too? Ooh. Oh my gosh, it's fire right now, but I gotta go. Nah, I gotta go, man. I gotta handle shit at the house. I'm supposed to finish painting. Is he? Oh, right there! <laughs> Here, I'll let me see if I can. Huh? It's tangled up in my <laughs> Damn. Huh? <laughs> You're on braid too, huh? Oh, that's fucking gone. Oh, right there, right there, right there. Let me see if I can scoop him up. Oh, that's fucking gone. Oh, right there, right there, right there. Yeah. That up? Oh, no, oh, it's almost there. Can you pull him up a little bit? Reel it in. Yeah, that's a nice one, bro. I think it's the biggest one today. Net him, net him, net him. <laughs> oh, that's bro. That's a that's a steelhead quality one right there. Look at that one. Ooh, look at that one. This is gonna be good eating right there. I'm not gonna. Oh man, yeah, it's in his gut, bro. You gotta cut him. I'm gonna cut it right. Yeah? yeah. Alright. Man, what a good day today. It started off really slow. So it was going everywhere trying to find the bait balls, but later on at the original spot, the fish were there. It took a while to get them to bite. It was probably not until like past the afternoon. But we're on them. Got some good sized crappie and some really nice sized uh, sam uh, trout. Really happy you came out here with the salt, uh, fresh and salty guys. And man, trout and crappie fishing is fun. I'm glad I came out here with uh, with the guys. Thanks for the invite, Vinny. Show me the way. Hopefully, I can make some more videos like this. Something that's not uh, something that's other than bass. This was actually pretty fun. I liked it. Thanks for watching and hopefully I can make some videos again. It feels good to be out again.